Hi, my name is Shai Schmelzer. I'm part of the Oracle Visual Builder Cloud Service Team. And in this demonstration, we're going to show you some debugging techniques for your application as you build them in Visual Builder Cloud Service. So over here we have a little application and we can see, for example, if we go to live mode, that if we type here US um, and we exit the field, we're filtering the list of value over here. Now we want to filter by the form, but we see that we filter by the two. All right, so how do you find out what's going on here and what's happening? Okay, so one of the things that is happening when I do this, I know that I'm calling a REST service. So you would want to invoke the development tools of your browser and look at the network tab over here. Okay, and you can actually record what's going on in terms of the network, right? So let's see what happens if I switch this over and type some other value and um, exit the field, okay? So again, we're doing the filtering, and if we switch back into the window, we would actually be able to see the call to the REST service. So we can see if it was successful or not and how long it took, things like that. And specifically, this was successful. We got a value, and we can actually see the request here Okay, so the full set of parameters, and we can see here that we're passing 2, 1, okay, which is the name of the field for the 2, rather than the form. Okay, if we actually scroll down, we would be able to see it even better here when we see the query parameters that are being passed. We're using the 2, 1 field, right? So by looking at the actual REST calls this way, I can figure out what is VBCS doing when connecting to other system. Okay, so now it would be very easy for me to go back over here. Build, we'll find the event, we we'll click on the event, and we can see the logic. Okay, so again, um, one of the things we're doing here is an assign variable. Okay, and in the assign variable, we're taking the search string and we're putting it into the filter criterion. And over here, we can see the attribute is indeed 2-1. So maybe we want to change it into from 1. So that would solve it. Um, I wanted to show you one more technique of debugging, um, which is simply putting out uh, messages. So you can use, for example, the fire notification and put it, for example, here. So if you want to know what value we got into um, the field, you can simply go here and say, show me the search string, okay, like that. And it would show you this in a message and you can set the properties of the message. And if you run the application now, okay, and we type CA, for example, and leave the field, we see the value over here that was in that field. So again, this is another debugging technique beyond looking at the network traffic. We can also, from action chain, put out file notification in various points uh, to show us values, okay? Um, another thing that you should know is that when you're running your page, we put a lot of information for you in the console, okay? So let's clear this one and again, show you the inspect and the console. And you can see there's a lot of messages over here, including errors and stuff like that, that you might want to trace. So if you want to debug, for example, something that happens, you can click the clear console, okay? And let's again change the value here and leave the field, okay? Let's look at the console now. We can see everything that happened since we clicked that button, okay? So the first thing that happened is we updated this variable to US. It's a good way to know what's the value of a variable, okay? And then we went over and we handled the event for this one with a specific payload. And we can see the payload that was passed into this, okay? Um, the previous value, the new value, okay? So those are very important things that would help you debug what's going in your application. And then we started an action chain, okay? With a specific parameter that we passed to this action chain, okay? Which was the value in the field. And then we can again go and see every step in the chain. We fire the notification, for example. Okay. Uh, if you scroll further down, um, 
we did something like show the notification over here. Okay. And over here, we went over and started to do the assign variable action. Okay. And again, inside here, you will be able to see all the information about which value was assigned to what variable. Okay. So if we click here, you'll be able to see the f that we did something with filter criterion, for example. Okay. Like that. So the console is a very useful place for you to find information step by step about what happened. And remember that you can also search in the console, okay? And you can also uh, filter by level, for example. Maybe you don't want to see infos. Maybe you just want to see any error that happened, okay? So you can see we had a problem here, for example. All right, so this is another debugging technique. I'll show you one more thing, which is if you have in your page, my page, for example, I have this button. Okay. And if you look at this button, what it does, it actually invokes a module function. Okay. So for those of you familiar, a module function in our page is some JavaScript that we wrote in our application. And one thing to remember is that in your JavaScript, you can also use the console log to log out messages into the console that we just looked at. Okay. So this is a good way for you to figure out values, for example, that were passed into your method. So over here, we have a function that accepts a parameter, and we're passing it in, and we want to know what the value is. So we do a console log, and we write something. Okay. And again, if we go back to our page, let's clear our console, and we can, for example, click the button okay, and go back into the console we'll see that we got the value of us, okay? And indeed, if you look at what we do in our button logic over here, we're passing in a value, which is the search string. This is why we saw us over there. So again, this is a way for you to notify um, the console of things that are happening in your custom JavaScript. So this was a little bit about REST services and um, some UI logic that you might want to debug. There's another part to VBCS, which is the business object right over here. And when you're working with a business object, you can define business rules. And in your business rules, in our case, we have, for example, here an update trigger that happens when we update the record. You can have custom code. And the custom code, for example, is written in Groovy. So the way to output things out of the Groovy is to use println messages, okay? Um, over here, for example, we're doing an if to check if the change in cost or if the cost is bigger than 500, and then we would put out a message, okay? And we can do the same thing, for example, in this step, okay? Where we're invoking some custom Groovy code. And again, right now we're just doing a println and putting out information when the information here also refers to values in the fields, right? So for example, let's run our application. And in order to see those log messages, what you'll want to do is click the log here. This brings up the log window for your business object and you need to enable logging. Okay. Once you do this, if you go back to your application and you click, for example, on a record, and you go and you update it. So remember, we want to update it to something that is bigger than 500. And you click Save. Okay, we updated the record. If you go back here, you now need to click the refresh. You'll see the uh, messages we outputted from our business logic. Okay, so we printed out the cost and the name of the employee that we updated. In addition, you can see exactly which triggers were executed and what did they do. So this is a nice way for you to, again, track business logic on the server side that you put into business object. So with all of those tools together, you should be able to understand exactly what's happening in your application if any errors arise, and it would help you debug them and create a successful working applications.